first of all, I want to congratulate yeah. you for your Emmy nomination Thank for you Sherlock. Very much. Thank you. Yeah, very excited. When did you hear the news? Did, you didn't wake up early. Did I you? was on set okay. with uh, some people in the show, and uh, we were just about to show the crew uh, the stuff we'd rehearsed in the scene. And uh, Sue Virtue came and said, "Oh, well done. Yeah, got an Emmy nomination." I thought, "Oh, great. We've got as in the program. Yeah. Show, oh, you've, you've, got, you've got one." I was like, "What?" And then an action. I was like. <laughs> very very hard to yeah no it's it's it's, it's a thrilling thing I, it, we've been very uh, very well received by by the Emmys in the past and uh, it's just it's just lovely to be and that group of actors and performances it's fantastic so yeah, yeah rooting for you yeah. uh, now talk to me about joining this crazy world this is yeah. huge you're I Doctor know. Strange what? I just made it a little bit huger and crazy I and mean, that's really what he does he, yeah, he brings yeah. this you know we, we there's a lot of stuff which is obviously features Norse gods and yeah. intergalactic uh, stuff with the Guardians but this guy takes everything we know as a reality where there's a cause and effect where your actions have consequences and blows it apart because of what he experiences and what he's taught and what he becomes so he literally opens other dimensions and the canvas just gets a whole lot bigger by the end of this film it's very exciting yeah I was going to ask you what exactly are his powers like what does he um, do oh <laughs> I'm just I've got this uh, inner kind of uh, filter going you can't say that you can't <laughs> say that you, well, you could say that uh, bunnies out of hats that kind of thing you know um, so he saws people in half and puts them back together no Come he's on. not a magician he's a sorcerer I, I, sorcerer okay well you know there's a cloak of levitation that features in the trailer so we know that happens that's pretty cool, cool. he's got quite a few gifts by the end of uh -huh. this um, he's a mean fighter and uh, of and, he's, and he possesses quite an unnerving, unwavering ability to memorize, train, and then practice the mystic arts. So he does some extraordinary things. So what did you have to do in order to be able to play him? What kind of training? A lot of training, a lot of working out, uh, the usual boring stuff, eating lots, getting yeah. buff, all that nonsense. Um, Sounds awful. Whenever you guys are like, oh, I'd eat pasta and ice cream, I'm like, oh, come on. Who the hell says pasta? Who's been on that diet? Uh, That's the Michael B. Jordan was really? telling me, yeah, he has to, he's putting on that, weight. That dude, that dude's cheesy. I don't know how so you do So what are you missing way. out on? Well, I didn't do it. Pasta and ice cream way. I've got to talk to him about his training regime. <laughs> That's uh, that's either a cliff he's about to fall off, or he's doing it the right <laughs> way. Because that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, no, it was you know it was healthy food, and yeah. it's all made very easy for you. You just have to apply yourself. Yeah. So, and I did. I really enjoyed it. And you know, I was a new father, and I was playing Hamlet in the evening, and I was rehearsing this. So oh I needed to, you know, and it was like a bedrock that gave me the energy for my day. It, um, you know, expending energy sort of begets it. So, oh, I've got to go. Get it. You got to right. go. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Good you. to see you. Bye.